guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while as you guys know I'm, I'm always putting you on my free products stuff and recently I got um, this lippy from buzz agent they're also one of the, the the um the companies that I signed up with to get free products I got recently uh, uh offer lippy and this is the lippy this is what the lippy is looking like I mean I got this and they always send me wrong shades some like some companies like I always get shades I don't like maybe it's me maybe it's because I only like certain you know a certain shade of lip stuff only because I th I think only certain stuff go with my you know skin type you know so um I'm really not feeling this one but it's 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 pretty I'm gonna do a swash and show you guys I just think it's let me cover it a little bit like when it's you're not seeing too much light you see it, the true color like it's a pretty bless you baby it's a it's a pretty color but I just don't think it's it goes with my complexion and I even try lining my lips and doing a little ombre fade kind of situation but I'm not liking it but anyhow I I just wanted to share buzz agent with you guys you could check them out as well for free products and recently i also got this serum from influenza and that's one of the biggest ones that i get a lot of stuff from from makeup to facial products and stuff um so i, I got this i don't know don't even know how this is pronounced is it bossia or bossia it's b-o-s-c-i-a i'm i might have butchered the name but this serum is really really nice you guys it's um vegan collagen it's a vegan collagen 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 booster serum my words today there is a very light undertone scent ish and the little one is right here just in case i'm, I'm surprised he's not jumped in already so it's really lightweight it's it, it, it really like dissolves right into your skin and I do get a little bit I, I can see the difference in my skin like I use it mostly at night time so you know after I do my whole facial stuff and I put it on at night time with my moisturizer and I go to bed when I wake up in the morning I have like a fresh renewed um you know look on my face you know so and it, it gives it gives my complex my skin this glowing look and 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 feel so i really like it so influence does sent me this and i've been using it and i've been loving it those are the two things that i've gotten recently for free and i wanted to share that with you guys as well and also guys remember the giveaways are still open they're still up on my channel if you have not entered them what are you waiting on like come on like chill out watch some videos enter the giveaway the giveaways i have two so one of them is a uh, juvia's you're place tired. You're, who's tired I'm, I'm, I'm watching. he's watching youtube kids over here his favorite thing these days so um one of the giveaways is a juvia's place giveaway and i'm giving away eyeshadows um highlighters and some brushes is there anything else i don't remember but those are the main stuff that I know is on that, in that giveaway. So it's two eyeshadow palettes, make a makeup brush set, and highlighter. Also, I have a facial roller giveaway. So it's the facial rollers you use it to. You can use it to um to when you're applying your moisturizer or your serum, you use it to roll that in. It's also a contouring. It helps to contour your face. So if you're not familiar with the facial rollers, you could check out my video. Um, and I'll, of course, link them in this video so it's easy for you guys to find. So those are the two giveaways that I currently have up on my channel. And it's really a 1K giveaway. Initially, when I put, put them up, I wanted um, them to be a giveaway that I would do the giveaways. Basically, the rule is that I will do the giveaways once I've hit 1,000 subscribers. I mean, the road is slow. I'm getting there slowly, but... You know, um, I just wanted, I've always done giveaways on my channel and I decided I haven't done one in a while. So I decided, okay, I was going to do this one. Um, I've not been putting out much videos because, you know, the real world happens. And with the new situation going on with the whole COVID-19, like, I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys are sanitizing and I, I do hope you guys are listening and you're staying inside as much as possible. Like, in three weeks, I, I have gone outside like... I, I took a walk to the front of um, 
my yard and like I've gone to the supermarket maybe twice um but I try to stock up as much as I can so I don't need to go outside that much um unfortunately not everyone in the household is able to work from home I should show you guys what's happening there um this is how he watches his tablet and that's pretty much what's going on behind me I've been quarantine and i've been doing um in my downtime i do watch um some netflix and i wanted to just share some of what i've been watching and of course do not be selfish share what you're watching too i want what i want in okay i wanted to share some of my faves so far and i mean this is not all but these are the ones i could remember movies i i'm just gonna give you 10 of what i could have remembered and I'm gonna give you 10 series as well that I've checked out for movies and they're no in no particular order by the way first on my list is a fall from grace and this this recently came out and this is um a Tyler Perry movie this recently came out um he used what's her name <laughs> I don't know I don't remember her real name but she's Anna from um um the haves and the haves not she was one of the main acts and on my list is inside man and this is like this this is um this is a money situation kind of movie well not money like um it's a robbery situation kind of movie um that's all I'll say I don't want to give her anything um Triple Frontier this has Ben Affleck in it it was a pretty good movie as well not bad um Falling in Love Falling in Love was amazing it was recent it's a it's a recent release Christina Milian. Christina Milian starred in it. Oh my god, I loved it. It's really sweet. It's like a love story um, Kind of thing. Um, city girl moving away from the city to another country It's nice. It's really really nice. That was good. I loved it. Um, American Sun. No, I cried. I cried. I cried. I cried. Okay. I have a son. An American Sun. I cried. Okay Carrie Washington is a star in this movie. The Assignment the assignment is good too. It's it's a little bit of action situation, um, crime situation. It's pretty nice. Uh, the boy who harnessed the wind. This is an, this is this was is an African movie. It, um, based. I think it's a true story as well. Uh, it was pretty good too. I I enjoyed it. Um, Otherhood. This is amazing. I love this movie. This movie is um, I, I, filmed in New York, Philadelphia area. And I, I, I must say that I love the movies that are filmed in New York. For some reason, I love them. It's just, I don't know. It's a, I guess it's my love for New York. But it's a thing. I I, I love them. Other Although, it's it's pretty nice. Um, it's three moms. And it's a, it, the story is, is, is surrounded about the moms and their sons. They all have sons. And that's all I'm going to say. It's nice, okay? I love it. Um, the other one is In the Shadow of the Moon. In the Shadow of the Moon is action, it's an action kind of situation thingy. It wasn't bad. It was okay. You, it, it's a good watch. And then the other one is Juanita. Juanita was nice. Um, star in it is also a popular, the female star in it is also a popular actress. So, Yeah. Those are so far what I've watched and what I've enjoyed, what I could remember from what I've watched so far. So if you have checked them out as well, like share your thoughts and then we could talk about them. Like let me know. And if you haven't checked them out, feel free, you know. So those were it for the movies. So next, I'm going to give you my series. And on the top of my list for my series is you. Yes. Why will you? Most people should... <laughs> It's probably familiar with this series. Like, it's one of the craziest series on Netflix right now. Okay? <laughs> like, you, okay? Also, filmed in New York. Um, love it. Love, love, love it. The, for the first season was New York. The second season, they went to California. But I love it, okay? I mean, a lot of pieces, press is probably as familiar with this, with this, um, with this film next one is all american i just finished watch finished ugh, i just finished watching all american listen listen and it's also based on based on a true story 
I mean, they altered some of it, but for the most part, it was based on a true story. All I'm going to say is that it, it was based, it's based on a footballer. Um, and that's it. That's all I'm going to say. Based in, uh, the storyline is based in um, Los, Angeles, Los Angeles, and it has a pretty, pretty good, careful. <laughs> it has a pretty, it's a pretty, pretty good storyline. I love it. And I can't wait for, for the next series, for the next season to begin. I love it. And it left me in suspense, so can't wait for that. Black Lightning, all right. So there are some of this series that I watch that are vigilante series, and I, I, I enjoy them. I don't know about anybody else, but I tend to enjoy the vigilante um, series, okay? So Black Lightning is one of the vigilante series. I just finished watching Black Lightning. Um, three seasons are out now, and I watch all three seasons. <laughs> And it's pretty, pretty interesting. I like the story. It's nice. I enjoyed watching it. Um, next on my list is Jessica Jones. And um, also a vigilante kind of series. Pretty nice as well. Based in New York. Um, Person of Interest. This is... It's on Netflix. I don't know if it was out bef if, if it's on TV. But Person of Interest, I watch it on Netflix. Taraji P. Henson. Taraji P. Henson is in this. They did not continue the series, but for all the se the ones that, and it has a lot. For all the series that I've watched, so <laughs> I watched it to the end. And let me tell you something. It kept me on my toes. I kept wanting to know what's going to happen. So, um, I don't want give to give away anything. So, it's like, it, also based in New York, it's, it's, it's like there were intels that could know what's going on in and around the city through the cameras around the city okay it's crazy 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 but it's pretty good okay there's more to it than what i said but I, again i don't want to give it away good girls is next on my list let me tell you let me tell you about good girls oh my god love good girls i put one of my best friend on twitter and she was like oh my god why why, why did you have me watching this movie no i'm hooked and i cannot get enough of this movie good girls so good girls is based on three moms what i love about this movie is the sisterhood that's it the sisterhood that's it that's in the movie and next on my list is stepsisters i watched this a long time ago it's it's like a sorority um kind of thingy stepsisters is that a sorority thing i think it is a sorority i think it is yeah but i watched it a long time ago it was nice i liked it family reunion is also a series i'm not sure if it's on tv i don't remember <clears throat> but it's it's a good series it's nice I like it um luke cage is also another vigilante movie loved it as well vigilante series not movie so it's it's a series Loved it as well. Um, I believe they stopped. Um, I believe they're not. Um, they didn't renew another season. Um, I don't remember how many seasons they were. But it was a good watch. Um, and the last one on my list is The Witcher. The Witcher was also a good watch. Um, that's pretty much it. And those are what I have on my Netflix list so far that I've watched so far. And what I did was I wrote a few down of what I want to watch next. And so far, I have Kings on my to-watch list and Her Only Choice and Black and Privilege. If there's any good ones out there that you have watched and I haven't mentioned them, please share your list with me, you know? So, that's what I've been doing. Quarantine and chill with Netflix when I'm not working and when I'm not taking care of my little one here. Hi. Hey. How are you? I wish it. Huh? I wish it. How are you? How are you doing? You're fine? Yeah, fine. Okay. I just wanted to come on here and um, check on you guys and let you know that you can still enter the giveaways. The giveaways are still open and stay safe. Be well. Today is Saturday, April 11th and it's, it's 4.55. The sun is, I mean, you know, it's getting dim. It was really a nice day today. I was like, oh, it's a nice day. We can't even go outside to enjoy all that. I mean, it's still cold. It's still chilly here in New York. But, I mean, yeah, we can't even go outside to enjoy that. But, you know, what to do? 
what to do praying for the world praying that we get through this praying that this pandemic is over soon and praying that praying for the families that have lost you know have lost loved ones and just stay safe you guys i'm gonna end the vlog here